not funny. That was awful. So was awful. my entire family thought I was dead for a little bit. I hit my school with my car. She Fun fact that you didn't know. Hey guys. Welcome back to our channel. This is Hannah. And this is Regal. And today we are going to tell you things that we have not told you before. Actually, so we think we haven't told you most of these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if this is have, new info. If we have, please forgive us. If not, it's just a little refresher. We're going to just do some fun little facts about us. Not all fun. Some are weird. A little more Hannah and Regal. Yeah. So let's get into it. One fun fact about me, not super fun, but I am allergic to deer hair and yes. short haired, like oily animals. Like I did a music video for my song, My Year, and there was a deer in it. Check it out, we'll link it. But during that time I pet the deer and I completely had forgot that I was allergic, but I touched this deer and I had like scratched my head and stuff too. My whole head like swelled up. I had to take Benadryl. We had to pause like the shoot so I could like de-swell, so. And morphine, you're also allergic to morphine. Oh, th so, well I mean since we're on allergies, I am allergic to morphine as well. Mm -hmm. But with morphine, I went to the hospital for something that we're gonna get into later. But for the pain, they had to give me morphine and I broke out in a rash. And so, yeah. They had to give you something to counteract it. And they had to give me something yeah. to counteract it. So those are my allergies. Fun fact about Hannah that you didn't know. Is I am an awful person to sleep by. <laughs> I'm a very active sleeper. Super active. Super active. She FaceTimed me last night and didn't even know it. <laughs> you guys, okay, so fun fact, I talk in my sleep so much. And yes. it's been that way as long as I can remember. There's so many funny stories of me talking in my sleep, but one specifically that I think is pretty funny. So pre him, I was uh, working at a nursing job um, when I lived in Hawaii and I was working in geriatric care. So we had residents that I was, you know, taking care of. And in the middle of the night when I was sleeping, I called my house supervisor oh at like two God. or three in the morning because for some reason I was having a dream that I was supposed to have one of my residents in my room with me, which is obviously not true. In my dream, I like woke up and this person was missing. And so I woke up and I called my house supervisor and I was like freaking out because I was like, oh my gosh, you know, so and so is missing. They're supposed to be in my room. I can't find them. And they were just like, what? What? I woke myself up and I was like, oh, I think I'm sleeping. And then that person the next day at work, I was like, I am so sorry. They're like, what is wrong with you? Resident was not missing. That was one of the funny things. The one was recently. <laughs> <laughs> I crawled into bed at night. I, you know, was downstairs working or something. Or I came into bed. She was sleeping, and she woke up. She went, oh, oh, no, no! And then like she started punching the covers like that I was in. I was in the covers, <laughs> and she was like, I was like, hey, would you not like? She was like, no, no, like that was one. So we, I guess I'm physically active in my sleep also. Yeah, that was the first time there was any physical like I don't know like there's so many. I wake Sometimes, up really pan. You'll be <laughs> That's a common thing. I'm just like, hey, everything's cool. Everything's fine. So she's a super active sleeper. Yeah. Yeah. Fun fact about me. Speaking of sleep, that if you're wondering where your kids are, they actually are both napping. Yes. This is one of the few times I've actually got them to like nap at the same time. They're both sound asleep. Wow. Yeah. This is crazy. We're getting a good Let's just sleep take a moment them. to celebrate. Thank God. Oh! <laughs> wow, it's honestly crazy. There's not many times in our day that like either of our kids aren't like right next to us. She's getting really good at sleeping at night. She's been sleeping like some nine hour stretches sometimes at night, which has been amazing. Yes. And she's been starting to take more like consistent regular naps like right now. So yes. it's been a new new chapter for yeah, us as this parents is, too. Yes, this has happened a handful of times uh -huh. recently. So we... It's a chapter of well-rested parents, hopefully. Yes. <laughs> and speaking of sleep, we're gonna segue really quick into the sponsor of today's video. We just wanna say a thank you to Helix for sponsoring today's video. And we're gonna talk to you guys about their amazing Helix Kids mattress. We're gonna unwrap it with you, some ASMR. 
Wow, this is nice. So this is the Helix Kids mattress. It's designed by Helix Sleep, and this is a premium mattress in a box. It's designed specifically with growing kids' needs and preferences in mind. So with so many options to choose from, we are really drawn to this Helix Kids mattress for our son's big boy bed because of some really cool features. The Helix Kids mattress features a two-sided design created with kids' developmental and comfort needs in mind. And also, we have this sitting on plastic right now, the wrap that it came in just because we don't want it to sit on our ground and it's not gonna go in our son's room quite yet because we'll use this when he turns three. The Helix Kids mattress is made without harmful chemicals and it also has gone through extensive lead testing to ensure your little sleeper safety. The mattress features a hypoallergenic cover that resists allergens that can cause irritation or allergic reaction, as well as an eco-friendly and plant-based durable water-resistant finish that is both stain and water repellent because Helix knows that accidents can happen. The mattress also features a micro microbe shield, which combats against odor causing bacteria to maintain hygiene, making it one of the best mattresses on the market to hold up against kids and pets. The Helix Kids mattress has been tested and approved by medical doctors, sleep consultants, child behavior specialists, and most importantly, real parents and kids. The Helix Kids mattress was even named the best overall kids mattress by today's parent. One of the best parts of all is that Helix will actually deliver your Helix Kids mattress right to your door with free shipping in the US. So if it makes you nervous to buy something that your family hasn't tried yet, Helix actually has a 100 night sleep trial. So you get more than three months to make sure that your little one loves their Helix Kids mattress. Plus, Helix mattresses have a 10 year warranty and they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans. We just got this mattress, but honestly, we are really loving it so far because it is so comfortable and I could fall asleep right now. <laughs> <laughs> what we personally like most is how safe the mattress is. We like that it's made without harmful chemicals and it has undergone extensive testing to ensure little sleeper safety. We are already loving our Helix Kids mattress and we really think that your family would too. If you're looking for a new mattress for your kid, check out Helix Sleep. You can click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash Hannah to get 20% off your Helix Kids mattress. And we just wanna say thank you so much to Helix for sponsoring today's video. All right, what is your next fun fact that people do not know about you? So I've broken a lot of bones. I mean like, Well, not compared to me. Fun fact, she has not broken a bone. I have not. No. Hopefully. We'll but remember. she did go to the emergency room for a sliver. <laughs> So, and it wasn't that bad. I thought I stepped on something and got something embedded in my foot. Turns out it was a sliver. I didn't just go to the ER for a I sliver. I was trying to get the sliver out. I knew it was a sliver. Yeah, we tried for like two days and it really was hurting. Yeah. Fun, not fun fact, I've broken my humerus and that wasn't <laughs> that funny. And that's why the first time I had to get morphine and we discovered that I was allergic. I was snowboarding and broke my humerus. So they didn't know if I was living or not. The oh. place, yeah. I mean, like I was okay, but the place that I was snowboarding at wouldn't give my mom the information oh. if I was safe or not. They called your mom to come yes. get you, but yeah. they wouldn't tell her what happened. Yeah, they're like, yeah, you need to come down to, you know, this place I was snowboarding at and you know, your son has been in an accident. And then she's like, well, is he okay? And they're like, we can't give you any information over the phone. That so my entire fun. family thought I was dead for a little bit. Burps. Fun fact, she hates burps. Okay. She, Even though I do it all the time. Yes. I hate when other people burp. Yeah, when I burp, she's like, oh my gosh, that is so gross. Aw. Oh. And then like, she'll be over there. Oh. And then she does this thing where she goes, it itches my to itch your ears. ears. It itches my ears. We've talked about it before. Yeah. But then I can't like, I have to like hide my burps in shame, you know? <laughs> and then I, I broke my arm as well, skateboarding. And then I've broken some fingers. I broke my nose. I'm pretty sure I broke or cracked some ribs. And football in my younger years was very injury prone. Mm -hmm. So. My fun but not so fun fact is I've had four different surgeries. I've never broken a bone, but I've had multiple surgeries. So yes. my first one. I mean, it's it's not funny that it happened, but the way it happened is. Wait, which one are you thinking? Your leg. Oh. Were you gonna talk about that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was not funny, that was awful. So I think I was like a 
sophomore, freshman, I cannot remember, I was 15. And I was at like this church picnic and my mom set up this like crazy obstacle course and me and my cousin were doing a potato sack race. My mom told me, don't wear those shoes, you're gonna get hurt. I don't remember what type of shoes I was wearing, but they were like not shoes I should have been like running and competing in. And so me and my cousin were like going against each other and we were just, I was like, oh, I wanna win. <laughs> and I was in this potato sack and somehow, I don't know if I jumped in a hole or if I just stepped weird, I don't know. But I fell down and I was like, oh my gosh, like <laughs> screaming in pain. Thought that I tore my ACL right there. I went to Ow, the sucks. ER and they told me that I didn't tear anything, which I had. I mean, I guess we can't 100% confirm it because I think they just said x-ray. They didn't do like They were a little MRI. concerned. They're like, why were you wearing stilettos while you were <laughs> in a potato sack race? No, I was not wearing stilettos. <laughs> just high heels. Um, <laughs> yeah. But anyways, I'm pretty sure that's where the tear started. Anyway, so then a few months later, I was doing cross country skiing. So I was going down a hill and cross country skis and there was a turn at the bottom. And I wasn't super good at this yet because this was my first year of trying it. I started going and instead of me turning at the bottom of the hill, I kept going into the woods. It all happened so fast. I'm pretty sure what happened is my leg caught on a tree, but Whoa. I kept going. I heard and felt my leg snap. Thankfully where this happened, there like it was a spot that a bunch of people were like standing at the bottom of the hill watching. Thankfully it happened there out of all the places because someone had happened to have a sled. Yeah. They pulled me back. So anyways, we then found out that I tore completely my ACL and my meniscus. Oh, jeez. And I had surgery on that. And then my next surgery was when I was 17. I was in on a family vacation. Trigger warning, you sorry if it's, you know. We were going to Las Vegas and then driving to the Grand Canyon. Literally almost immediately, like day two or something, I started getting really sick without I had the flu, was literally puking, driving all the way from Las Vegas to um, the Grand Canyon. They knew I was obviously sick. Like I kept throwing up, I wasn't eating anything. I was just oh. laying in the front seat, just like. When we finally got to the hotel that night, they're like, well, we're at the Grand Canyon now. Like, do you think you're okay enough if we just want to go look at it and you stay here? And I was like, yeah, it's fine. So I was like in the room with just super sick there out exploring the Grand Canyon. I was like in the room like, Ugh. And then that next morning when I woke up, that's when my family started getting really concerned. It was just not good. Yeah. The closest like hospital was an hour away and that whole ride, I was just so mm -hmm. sick, like barely was able to stay awake. We get there, they did a cascade of MRI, I don't remember. They didn't see anything at first, but then they looked back at it and it was my appendix. It looked inflamed. They said it hadn't ruptured. And so then they're like, well, I don't know about surgery. Like, what do you think? And I was like, I really think that I need to get this out of me. Good thing I did because turns out the imaging also, they didn't read it right. So there's just like, a a big chain of events that they weren't like reading all these things correctly it actually had ruptured and that's oh, why i was damn, so yeah. sick so good thing i did it because that is very dangerous <laughs> obviously yeah and then two quick other surgeries i got my wisdom teeth removed when we actually first started dating and he helped take care of me and then my um most recent surgery was the emergency c-section i had with my son so those are the four surgeries i had just to back pedal quick i just thought the potato sack race was <laughs> That's funny to me that it the kind of how it happened. That Not the, the skiing part, I don't think any of that is funny. But like you're just a, a scenario. So anyways, right. just wanted to clarify that. I mean, this is kind of a fun fact. I mean, like I was homecoming king. He was homecoming king. That's just a fun and fact. And your senior superlative, you guys are probably gonna not be shocked by this. So if people don't know what a senior superlative is, it's basically like best hair, you know, most likely to be famous, like, you know, those things. So his was... Class clown. Uh -uh. I am not shocked by that. At yeah, all. so that's that's <laughs> what I got. What was yours? Fun fact. Um, my senior superlative. Was you guys are gonna love this. I'm not really proud of and very embarrassed. And listen, <laughs> I fully support your classmates' decision uh, in this award. I got voted the worst driver. Uh. And there was <laughs> one incident that caused this that was just a fluke accident. So I mean, there's really no way you can <laughs> make it sound good, even with the explanation. I hit my school with my car. She drove into but, her school. But, 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 <laughs> let's, so explain let's pedal. how this is gonna sound good. <laughs> Okay, no one was in the parking lot besides me and my friend. First of all, okay, there is no other cars. Dig in. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no the possible way that I couldn't see this school. <laughs> so, so there's no one in the parking lot. And this school is big, okay? <laughs> it was a big school. So that helps.
There might have actually been a few other cars because we were like peer helpers and so my friend, I saw her, I hadn't seen her in a really long time because we're just getting back from summer vacation. I started looking at her and waving and be like, hi, oh my gosh. Bumped into the school. Yeah. A light uh, tap. There was the a paint mark for my car. My car didn't get damaged. The school didn't get damaged. It's just a right paint off. strip. No one got hurt. No airbags went off. But I did do a light love tap to my school. I will say my driving skills have improved very much since then. I have not hit any more buildings. So. I mean, we gotta think about that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I've not hit any more built. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, good. I have nothing else bad has happened, but that was Her uh, driving skills have improved incredibly because now she has a chauffeur. So <laughs> me. That her driving skills are like she's great. Oh. Hey, turn here, slow down. She just voice commands drives now. Yep. My personal chauffeur. Yes. So <clears throat> passenger princess. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Okay. This kid has been involved in more activities than any person I've met. I played hockey for a few years when I was real young, and then I also played basketball for many years and baseball up until about, you know, eighth grade, I think was my last year. And then I did play football. I stopped playing all those because uh, I was wanting to like skateboard and snowboard more. You went skateboarding and snowboarding, he also did. Things. Through the school next to us, because they offered tennis, I played, I was on tennis tennis team for like four years. And then I was also on the soccer team for a couple years. And then you also were on a dance crew. We were talking about this in, earlier, about what we were gonna talk about. And she's like, so you were on dance team. It and was a dance was, team. I That's, know. There's nothing wrong with dance team. There's nothing wrong with dance team, but for like it someone- was two different things what you, you did. So to somebody that was on a dance crew, like doing popping and they did like crump and break dancing and stuff okay. like that. I would watch the people that were on dance team be like, oh, we're doing hip hop, but it was like more I choreography. Did. Whereas hip hop, at least the style I was doing was like a lot of like popping and and like ground game and like stalls and yeah. stuff like that. So I mean, there was a difference. So so he was on a dance crew, not dance team. I was on. And a you dance also crew. did pottery. I did pottery. Yes. Yeah. Because when we first met, he was telling me like all the things he did. I'm like, holy crap! You've been involved in like every possible activity. Yeah. I just like picture him pulling up to practice like a new sport every year. Being like, <laughs> hey guys, trying out for this this year. <laughs> like, oh, I, I was in why. band too. I was oh, a, you're in I was, band. I was a drummer in band. He played a bunch Bunch of instruments grab too. You did piano, guitar, yep. drums. Yeah. He was also in a metal band growing up. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. He's just been in he's just had so many different like eras in his yeah. life. Yeah. I was I don't oh know, I just, that's a good I was a vocalist for a metal band, like yeah. a post hardcore metal band, like yeah. screaming. Do like, a, do oh. one of your screams. Can no, you do it? I'm not gonna no, okay. <laughs> do I have to? Yes. Do you have to do this? Yes. I don't know. I used to do like the pig squealing stuff too, where it was like, just to plug my ears. <laughs> I don't even know if I could do this. This is gonna be embarrassing. I, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. He needs a warm up. We don't want him to wreck his vocal cords. Anyways, yeah, fun fact about him. So, one thing I don't think I've shared at all is I'm afraid of heights. Very yes. afraid of heights. That's one of my fears. But she's been on like roller coasters. Yeah, but like I'm that. terrified. Yeah. I get scared. I really hate heights. And the other thing that I'm really afraid of, I'm afraid of poultry, birds, and there's a very good reason for it. I have yes. a, a traumatic story that was traumatic in my brain of this. So backstory to this is that Growing up, we had chickens, and the roosters were, ones we had were not nice. They would always like chase you. The one we had we called, I think his name was Thunder. He did cheap shots. Like he would like come after you if your back was turned and he would like jump on your back yeah. and claw. If anyone's had chickens and roosters, you probably know what I'm talking about. They like puff up and they chase you and it's traumatizing. Okay, it is not traumatizing. It's just scary, okay? Yeah. It's scary. I have had that happen to me. We own chickens it's too. It's scary. Sort of before I met him, this happened. I was, um, I had just moved back from working at a summer camp. I was a nurse there and I just moved back to my dad's house because I was trying to figure out my next steps. And we grew up on a lot of land. I used to like to go running back there. And I just, you know, was putting my headphones in, was just going for a just typical everyday run around the field. And how my dad's land was, it's like a big open field and there's like a trail that goes like just around the edge of it. 
I was running. So I was coming around the corner. I cut into the field and all of a sudden flies up a wild turkey. And I was like, oh my gosh. And it looked at me and it started to chase me. <laughs> a wild turkey. They are not a small little chicken. They are a big bird. Yeah, they can and be they like 30 sharp pounds talons. plus easy. And I didn't see it. So picture it Hannah running for her life in an open field from, from a wild a turkey. Wild it chased turkey. me. It chased me for like a quarter of a mile and it was like on my butt. I have <laughs> never ran so fast in my entire life. It was like it had its puffed up so it looked like a dinosaur chasing me it was really scary yeah so then i kept i mean that finally. is kind of scary it's okay. not kind of scary getting chased by a huge bird that you have no idea what's gonna do i was by myself the cell service was really bad like what if it started like <laughs> pecking me to death anyways so then finally i kept looking behind me it was like on my back the whole time finally when i looked back i saw the head stopped and I kept running though because and I didn't And then a bear not, came no. out <laughs> <laughs> I was out of breath, really scared. And I just kept seeing it go, go, and then finally it disappeared. And I still stood there for a long time because <laughs> I was not going to let it chase me again. So of course I was really far away from the house. And so I went around the other opposite side of the field to get back home. I never ran into it, but that is why I am scared of birds. I would be fine with having chickens again, other than because of the backstory. You'd be taking care. I'd probably be taking care of the chicken, so. But farm fresh eggs, nothing better. I don't know, something you guys may not know about me. We've said it before, but you know, my name is Justin. Yeah, a lot of people don't, well, probably maybe a lot of people that are new to following us. If yeah. you've been following us for a long time, you probably know that, but his real name is Justin. And that's yeah. why in some of our like older videos, or it's just not even older videos, but sometimes I'll just call him Justin. Why so, are you Regal? I go by Regal Noise for my music artist name. And that was, you know, prior to even meeting her. And so when we started doing all this after when we got married, I just figured to carry on that entertainment name as well. So that is my online presence name and kind of like the brand and stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. people do call me Regal and stuff. She doesn't, but you know, I was known as that for a long time, but my legal name is Justin. Because at first we had named our account like Hannah and Justin. I don't know if we did on YouTube, but on TikTok we did, but then we were like talking about like real noise. And so we we're like, okay, this is kind of confusing. So we're like, let's just have his online presence be Actually, Regal. Actually, I think it was just like your name at first and then we switched it to Hannah and Regal. So we decided to do Hannah and Regal just to make it kind of cohesive so that like when he releases music, people like know it's him still, yeah. you know, if that makes sense. And if sense. you want to check it out, we'll link the channel. We'll link I got a stuff. bunch of different music videos. And He's working on some new things, new hopefully soon. Coming on, yes, and we just released one uh, this year. Yeah, so, so if yeah. you haven't heard that, check it out. Okay, really quick fun fact about me is I'm 5'4", well, 5'3", and like 3 fourths, but I round up. She'll give me crap for saying, cause I'm six, I'm 5'11 and a quarter. So I just say I'm six foot, but I'm 5'11 and a quarter. Yeah. But I, I, I mean, I can't really crap. round. Yeah, kind of. Well, no, I just, the only reason why is because I wasn't actually sure if he was six feet for, because he'd always say six feet, but my dad's the family is really tall. My brother is six two and my dad. He's the same is, size as me. My dad's a little taller than you. I don't think so. Maybe it's because he wears boots all the he time. He wears boots. He wears like cowboy boots all the time. Yeah. So the reason why I was not always sure if he was actually six feet is because my dad always said he was six feet tall, but my dad always appeared to be taller than him. So I was like, I just don't know if you're six feet. But when we measured, he is almost six feet. Yeah. Because Someday she's tall. like, I feel taller than you. <laughs> I'm like, you are literally almost eight <laughs> inches smaller than me. One more quick fact about me is I've never tried alcohol before. I mean, like I've had, I know there's like a small amount of alcohol and like kombucha and yeah. that type of stuff, but like I've never like had like a actual like alcoholic drink before. There's not like a religious reason behind it or anything like that. It's just that I- it's just doesn't want to. You know, there's just Nothing some things that, that kind of happen, like not like my immediate family, but like extended family where I've just seen things happen with just substances just growing up and I just, kind of was just like, you know what? I just don't want to do any of that and not like judging anybody who does or anything. Not saying that it's like right or wrong to do it. Yeah. And everyone has their own decisions, but I just personally just chose to never try it and I don't 
drink, so. The last thing that we're gonna talk about for things you don't know about us. Or you may know about us. That we grew up, both of us, in a small town. Her town was actually smaller than mine. My town was like 2,000 something people. And mine then- was like 800. Yeah, so or she grew up it. in the town- uh, Couple towns over. Couple towns over. Which is funny that we never like, well, that we know of. If you go back to like how we met, there's some like ties to things that are kind of cool that yeah. we found out when we had met, but we weren't aware of each other. Like, like, it's like for real small town. The nearest big population city to us is only like less than 90,000 people. Like that is like the city for us. Yeah, like the cities is like two hours away. That's like Minneapolis, yeah, and that's St. Paul area. How Minnesota kind of is, is there's just like, there is a ton of small towns and then there's like these kind of medium, very small cities. Like St. Cloud is a little bigger, isn't it? St. Cloud's a little bigger. There's not a lot of like huge, huge cities. Yeah. There's a lot of like <laughs> small, medium size and yeah. a few like bigger areas. So how many kids did you graduate with? I graduated with 90, it was like 98 or something like that in yeah. my class. And mine was even smaller. <laughs> like... So our high school, I know I kind of talked about this earlier, but our school was 6th through 12th. In my grade, there was, I'd have to look at the yearbook and count, but I'm pretty sure I graduated with, I think it was upper 30s of kids. So there's like maybe 38, 39 kids, I think. So pretty small. Like my brother, I think he graduated with like maybe 40 something in his grade. Yeah. So overall, just like really small, small, small yeah. class sizes. It's like you knew everybody in yeah. your grade. You yeah. knew everyone basically in the whole entire school. Like maybe- Let's get real. You knew kids. everyone in town, okay? For, like, you knew a lot. Yeah, there's like- There's some schools that have that much in their like, like town. 800 in their grade. So that's some fun little things. I don't know who shared all those before, so sorry if this wasn't as many new things as it. <laughs> like I said, our brains are a little tired these days, so we don't remember exactly everything we shared. But those are like, you know, if we were going around a circle and sharing fun facts about ourselves, there we those go. are some things we would say. Those so, are some fun facts, things you didn't know about us. Yeah. We appreciate you guys stopping by, watching yeah. our video. We are so grateful for all of you, and we are almost at 5 million subscribers. That is in, so that, that is, is insane. It's so crazy. Thank you guys for all thank the love. We love so our YouTube much. community. We do. You and, guys are amazing. Um, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much again for just all your support and all of your love and for just watching our videos. We appreciate it so much and it's so crazy just that we're even doing this. Yes. We just are so appreciative of you guys. Yes, like, thank you. You've truly changed our lives and we are just so, so grateful. We hope that you guys have a great day and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.